or are you are still watching ways now global day to end child sexual abuse is observed every year on april 11 to raise awareness of sexual abuse perpetrated on children and to build a strong community to end it now the day was started by the innocent revolution an organization that has been combating sexual abuse worldwide right um so interesting day and it was so interesting i think no you're the one that pointed out in the group that um uh, what's it called that what a coincidence that we're discussing the dalai lama saga and today is um the day to end child sexual yeah. abuse yeah. right because yeah. it's just so apt as far as i'm concerned ha, let me calm down let me calm down because the the conversation it got me like i was racing in my head when i saw that video i was racing i you know again being a mother of boys and all of that I, my brain was just racing ah, where were the parents where were they you know because this was like hey, the boldness all right auntie the video what did you find for us <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I have Afrobeat singer Davy Dadilike, popularly, popularly known as Davy Doe, has announced the release of his song on available video of his album Timeless. Um, it's actually such a nice video. I like the whole African concept that he's trying to invite. Anyways, he has always done that because I think... Um, one of his I first yes i yeah you know so it's I still yeah so it's still in you the know, same the you know line of it um he says special you. thank you to the mattel family for the role they played in making this movie we are back better and stronger more surprises with them on the way Hey, congratulations to Davido. Yeah. I think a lot is just happening for him, you know. I mean, he had launched the line in partnership with Puma. Yeah. Beautiful. I love those fabrics, actually. It's something that I would actually go into a store, pick up, to buy. To buy. Yes, That's I love very it. Nice the only challenge is that about people. It's yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, <laughs> they are, ah, yes, they are already released. They are already released the copy. Yesterday, yes, yesterday, <laughs> they just put it side by side. Oh, no, maybe not, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we have serious potential there in Aba, and I just you, wish the government can. If the government can, do, see, let me tell you, the all the government needs there. to do is give them the original fabrics, the original what's it called, everything, and they can make them here in Nigeria yes. instead of uh, transport um, export, importing and uh, import. import uh, um, so you need you need to understand that, that there's potential there, because you see this your clothes, just give it to an Abama. They will replicate it for you. <laughs> well trained. I mean, a lot can happen a lot in Naba if we can see that. Harness the power that you have. Um, mm -hmm. They have already released their own Abba version. <laughs> it, I, was, I was just jokingly, what Jennifer was telling yesterday, I was jokingly telling her that that was how my, my um, what's it called, my um, jersey, the Nigerian jersey, yes. that really nice one, that, that, you know this one, that, that first one that came yeah, out. Yeah, that version. Was, ah, <laughs> they made mine from Brazil. Um, if you see, if you see Abba, and Brazil, no one no difference. difference. <laughs> I actually, so somebody actually was in Brazil, in, um, Sao Sao Paulo, what they call the place. Yeah. And they they Bought made mine and they put my Customized name and all the customized it only for. <laughs> it's interesting. Wow. It's actually crazy because even abroad they have their own um, form of aba mm. section over there. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them they get arrested. But some they will probably have to pay some kind of things to be able to operate. Of but they course. have those things. Yeah, like if you see these expensive copies. designer yeah. bags that you see yeah, out there, copies. they are the ones well, making the copies. I, mean, I was watching one video where they're talking about luxury brand, and mm. some people were saying that no, they can't do a certain brand. You know the brand now. Oh, Hermes. No, be that one. Mm. The one that is a uh, V and L. Mm. You know mm. that mm. it is the most. So they have a lot of knock uh, knock knock -offs. knock offs yeah. that particular brand yeah. that so that you can never catch them with um, buying an original because they've so perfected the um the copy that you know it's almost you like you can't even yeah. tell so why am i taking my money and buying thousands of dollars bag and somebody is just you might only know mm. in the treading or the way they yeah. sew it because it's, it's, it's yeah there's always yeah, going to be a difference. It's different, very different. Yeah. All right. So let me take your story, Jennifer. All right. So for my story, um, Jaqua, three reasons Nigerian youths go abroad 
for studies. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so based on this, they said that the Association of Nigerian Students in Europe said over three million students studied, or three million Nigerians studied in Europe in. 2000, um, 2022, so over 3 million uh, Nigerians. And the Central Bank of Nigeria said that Nigerians spent $1.38 billion on international education between January and September 2022. And then the three reasons that they gave based on this um, article is that the standard skills in European and American education um, is, um, is quite different from what we have here in, in Nigeria. And then also um, people leave the country because of frustration and hardship associated with Nigerian education. And then the third is the possibilities of jobs during educational programs. Because mm -hmm. even, you know, abroad, you know, companies would actually come, they would have been keeping tabs on certain students. So they, they actually come to do even job fairs yeah. right inside yeah. the university. Mm -hmm. So yeah, in your final year, you're seeing different yeah. companies yeah. coming to recruit, you know, mm -hmm. fresh. Do we have right. those here? We don't have that. No more your story. Okay, so mine is uh, in the health sector. We have seven Nigerians who have completed the e-health knowledge and skills program. And um, the GEEKS program is a capacity building program that was funded by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and implemented by African Field Epidemiology Network and the Institute of Human Vir Virology, Nigeria. So these uh, seven fellows from this from the National Primary Health Care Development Agency are the ones that are going to be training. They're going to uh, they have initially developed a data analysis visualization tool for Nigerians district health information software to dashboard to show linkages between adverse events following immunization and in, um, to help facilitate the fast tracking of responses to any adverse events following immunization. I think this is a very good one because it also they also developed a routine immunization and vaccine preventable disease dashboard for surveillance of outbreak and response management and analysis systems really to link immunization coverage with outbreaks. So basically, these people have come up with different tools that can be used in um, being able to respond to immunization, uh, um, immunization in the country. And um, the programs are going to be used to train other, uh, um, other people. So it's almost so, like a train, yeah. trainer kind of structure. Yes, so, yes. so it's a mentorship program as well, and these ones will train others. So I, I think it's a good one because uh, when you talk about so mortality talk, rate, we yeah. mentioned it uh, children, yesterday, yeah. yes, for children. Um, this would this would really go a long a long way to help in the health sector, Before and these are that, homegrown as well. Homegrown. I was going to say that immunization for children. We kind of like perfected that thing because I I know that especially for polio, for instance, a lot of um, people go door to door. You know, so yeah. I like that this is putting a structure to it, putting data to it, putting yes. making sure that the there's numbers. also that's where yes. we have a lot and of getting a track. Like so, they are tracking it. They track, want to yes. see the response of this immunization tool. You know, it, again, some of us took the COVID vaccine. There are still uh, there are still some very scary reports I'm seeing abroad. In fact, yesterday I was watching one when they talked about um, they were seeing cod like things in their bloodstreams or mm. so things forming. Mm. I watched that report. I was like scared. So imagine if there is a they monitoring structure it, that can yeah. track whatever that is introduced into your system, how your body is responding to it. You know, those kind of things is actually a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a step it is. In the right direction. But that does not stop them from of course. migration. Well, because they have answered you people. <laughs> <laughs> My story says that UK restrictions can't stop doctors migrating, says uh, NME and, um, and the Nation, Nigerian Association of Residence doc, uh, Doctors. Um, of course, they said that some of these things that have happened, the Code of Practice, International Recruitment for, of Healthcare personnel will not stop Nigerian doctors from migrating to other countries. So if UK have closed door, doctors are telling you that they will go and look for another country <laughs> to jackpot. <laughs> God help us. 
are not out of options at all. for places that they will go to. At all, at all. I was saying to someone I that... I think that's the beauty of life. It's yeah. Like the, I, I'm, I'm, I try to open my eyes to say that there are always multiple opportunities. Absolutely. Then there are always, options. always, Absolutely. always. When always. you open your eyes, you see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when there's a will, if, if that thing, you see, they say it's so cliche, but it's so true. When there's a will. When there's a will, like you have the will in your heart that this is what I, I really want to do. There will be a way for it. All right. On that note, we we'll take a break when we come back from the break. God help me. Let us discuss this Dalai Lama matter. <laughs>